loves. If you're new here, hi, I'm Chazzles Renee, and thank you so much for being here. If you are a returning subscriber, <laughs> sorry, Stitch interrupted. <laughs> well, hi, my little devil child. Oh, he's going to play for us for our intro. All right, if you are new here, hi, I'm Chazzles Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hi, my lovelies. I hope you're all doing well on this Monday morning. I hope you all don't have the Monday blues. I kind of do, but that's just because my weekend was so busy. We had so much to do, so it's taking me a little bit to recover and I guess Simba's here too to say hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I hope you all had a great weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So Chazel's here is in her villainous outfit and that is because I actually worked on my dream snap. Um, I think it was Saturday morning. No, it was actually yesterday. Yeah. So I worked on my villainous entry yesterday with our boy Jack and um, I wanted to show you guys before we move on with this video but I decided to use the orb that I had in my Forgotten Lands already. Um, I had it as the main focal point of my seance area so I thought you know what that would be a great entry to use just me um, making it look like I'm using magic and brewing up potions with Jack. Make it look like I was resurrecting a cute little alligator from the other side. Um, so I don't know that's just how it ended up turning out to me but I use the um, pink alligator and then I actually had him inside of the orb so it looks like I'm pulling him out and then we have Jack over in the corner just laughing at our villainous shenanigans but this is what it looks like um I think it came out pretty good I don't know how it's going to rank because it's a little different and um, it kind of tells a story and we all know that the more your entries are unique the worse they tend to do and that's just being honest um, so I liked what I did I like that it was different but I'm not sure that it's going to do so well vote wise but hey I had a lot of fun making it so that's all that counts but that is my entry for the villainous lair and then um, today's video, we are going to be welcoming Mike and Sully to the valley because we just had the Monsters, Inc. update drop. So I thought I, was, I would feature bringing them out of the realm and then just doing a couple of quests with them. Um, I have yet to start it because, like I said, as soon as the update dropped, um, I had to get ready for my second cousin's wedding. So I didn't really have a lot of time to play. But I picked out the outfit to wear today for this welcoming of Mike and Sully. And it's kind of monster themed, but I am going to have to edit my makeup and stuff. But this is what I picked out and I think it looks really cute. Gives that Monsters Inc. vibe. Um, but let's definitely change her face because we still have the villainous makeup on and I want to make her cute, so...
our cute little monster chazels is done so let's go get mike and sully from the other realm super excited and i haven't watched any uh, gameplay on their quest or anything because i want to be a surprise let's see if i have anything in my bag that i need to drop off first yes i do um, and if you guys don't know already, I actually did something with my storage room. So I made a greenhouse style storage room. Um, this is what it looks like. And if you guys want to see the speed build on this, it it's here on the channel. So um, just go ahead and look it up and you will see how I made this beautiful greenhouse style storage room. And I'm just going to drop off everything that I have in my pack that way we have room in case we need anything all right so everything is out of my pack let's go stop by Scrooge's store and see what new items we have Guys, I've been getting my buttons all mixed up, switching from um, Polyaplay and DDV. I don't know if you guys get like that too, but uh, yeah. So whenever I'm switching between the two, I'm like, how do I pull this out again? Because the button mechanics are so different. Um, so if you see me pulling out an umbrella when I'm not supposed to, that's just me trying to figure out how to play DDV again. Um, we already have that one. We already have that one. We don't have this counter yet. I'm pretty sure this is new, yeah. I'm like, I haven't seen that yet. Alright, so we got new two new items. Um, if you guys don't know already as well, ooh, we have something new over here. I never get anything new over here. So this must be a Monsters, Inc. item. Uh -huh. Yes. Blue pile of binders. Um, like I was saying, I explained a little bit of it on the on my Wednesday reset channel, but they've completely changed um, Scrooge's shop now. They added a couple of more areas so it's pretty much more organized now so you're gonna have big oh my god we got the snack machine guys yay i um, sorry <laughs> so the bigger items are going to be over here on this side as well as on this side and this is like the big main furniture item area um let's buy this parasol yeah, so these two side corners are going to be for big items, and then you're going to have your wall items over on this side. Um, I know that we have all of these. And then, again, you're going to have the big furniture item right in the center. And then you're going to have the wall ceiling items over here. Why do I feel like I don't have that style, I don't think. All right, let's buy it. Yeah, because I don't... It says it's new, but I've never seen that hanging lamp before, so I'm just going to buy it. But yeah, so we're going to have our ceiling furniture items here, and then we're going to have our um, wallpaper and our flooring over on this wall. So it's much more organized, and guys, I'm just saying, with this new update, I have gotten like five new items a day. So that's crazy. That's a lot for me. I typically only get one or two, but with this new update in screen just store and everything being more organized and having more furniture spots i've just been getting so much furniture so really happy that the devs decided to do that for scrooge um unlit galactic federation membership hallway wall whoa that's a long word to say <laughs> it's a long sentence to say and then this regular pink wallpaper that's really cute pink's my favorite color uh -huh. it says red but it looks pink to me i don't know guys what do you think let me know in the comments pink or red it's gonna be like that dress that they're like is it blue or is it white a, a, a while back i don't know if you guys remember that but yeah um 
So let's buy my favorite item of the day, this cute vending machine. I'm so happy about it. Uh -huh. Looks like it's got a couple of Red Bulls in there. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, now. Goodbye, Scrooge. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead to the realms and let's let our favorite little monsters out. All right, so I'm also going to be doing a little bit of the star path while we are doing Mike and Sully's quests, just so that I can work on that and try to get a little bit of that done as well. I've worked on a couple, obviously, because I got the rewards for them. I'm wearing some of them, but yeah, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to spend on it, so... So I was originally going to upload Polya content today, but we're going to have Polya content on every Friday. And I feel like the star path is a little more important right now. Um, just because, you know, we just barely got it and I want to showcase a little bit of everything happening with the update. So we will still have Polya content. We will just have it on our regular Fridays, which means I missed out on it last week, which is fine. It's just one day. Um, but yeah, I will have Polya content back on Friday. All right, so here we are at the Monsters, Inc. realm. I'm so excited. What do you guys think it looks like? I haven't seen it yet. Chazels, behind this door lies another room of many doors, a place where the power of laughter changed everything. Let's open the door. Stupendous, please proceed and give my regards to all who dwell within. So just by him saying a world with tons of doors, we're probably going to be in Mike and Sully's main laughing facility. Monsters Incorporated is just what I'm guessing. A little opening scene. And there they are. There's our favorite little monsters. <laughs> Too cute. All right, so this is really cute. We are here at the base of Monsters Incorporated. Let's pick this up. Wazowski, paperwork. I'm not asking again, R. I'm taking it's probably Randall. All right. And then we got those vending machines that I just got with Scrooge's store. Let's investigate this. Says out of stock. Looks like they need to stack up on their coffee, huh? All right. There's something back there. I don't know how we get back there. Door out of order. All right, so we can't go in there. You are scanned. A red light flashes. Access denied. Monsters not identified. Employees only beyond this point. Okay, so we got to figure out a way to get in here. I'm going to highlight our quest. Um, I don't know why it's not letting us do it. Let's see. All right. So search for something to disguise yourself. Um, oh, so we have to go to the wardrobe and it's going to probably give us a monster mask. Let's see. And cool, we got our new ears. So let's put those on right now. It says optional, experiment with fantasy skin tones and contact lenses in the wardrobe menu to create a monstrous disguise. Put on your choice of monster ear, put on your monster incorporated a hard hat. Awesome, so this is where you're going to get those new skin tones and the new ears. Um, I think we're going to go red just because they fit a little bit more. The blue ones would fit too, though. 
let's go red and then let's put on our hard hat doesn't quite fit with the hairstyle choice we have but that's okay <laughs> and then it said something about skin tone so let's see we might have to do oh yeah so we have skin tone so I kind of like the turquoise one and I think it looks kind of like Soli's color. So let's go with those and then now we have to put all that makeup back on. Sorry guys. <laughs> Take a selfie once you're happy with your monstrous disguise. All right, where should we take a selfie in front of? Let's take it in front of the front desk. <laughs> oh my God, her eyes were closed. Okay, that's not a good one. I'm going to save it. Perfect. All right, unlock the door to the last floor in your monstrous disguise. And there's Sol, you Mike. Hey there, you must be the intern we've been waiting for. You picked a strange day to show up though, because, uh, nobody else did. We have no idea where everybody is. And we're in a real tight jam. Monstropolis needs power, but this is not a two monster operation. How about a three monster operation? Well, usually it takes dozens of monsters to keep this place running. Did I mention that I'm glad you're here? Look at this way. You're gonna get some hands-on experience on a laugh floor your very first day. You know, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, you're a little human shaped. I've never seen a monster like you before. Okay, <laughs> let's go with I retracted my extra arms before work. Oh, okay, no need to explain. It's just that it's company policy, no humans on the laugh floor. If human adults knew about us, it'd be, shh, I don't even wanna talk about it. Well, welcome to the company. I'm James P. Sullivan, CEO, but please call me Soli. And over there, that's Mike Wazowski. I'm Chazels. I can't wait to start my internship. Gotta love that go-getter attitude. Why don't we get you started while Mike and I figure out how to run this place with just three monsters. We had our laugh power launch party a couple of days ago and this laugh floor needs a little work. We already swept up all the confetti and took down the decorations. Could you clean up the rest of the party trash and rinse away the slug slime on the floor? I'll get started right away. Great, I appreciate that positive attitude, Chazels. I'm sure there's something around here that can help you rinse the slime away. Don't worry, I've got my own tools. Nice, we'll come back and see me when you're finished. All right, let's take a selfie with our little monster guys. All 
All right, so it looks like we're going to need our watering can is just what I assume to wash away all this slime. And then we're stomping on the cans. Hope you like puzzles, R. So it looks like Randall's in his villainous era again and he's doing some shady stuff that we gotta figure out. Um, these tools don't really fit my monster appearance so I'm going to change them real quick. I'm going to do the nefarious watering can, the nefarious shovel, and the nefarious fishing rod, and the nefarious pickaxe, and nefarious we can keep the rose gold hourglass, but I feel like these are going to be better suited for our outfit. All right, let's keep again with the polya. All right, sorry guys. <laughs> all right, so let's keep cleaning up all this stuff. Yeah, because in polya I use the ZR to water my plants and that's what I was doing right now, so. All right, let's see what we got. Monsters Inc. computer. That's pretty cool. Looks like the little TV that we get from Scrooge's shop. Alright, we have... Looks like part of a key card. Found your last note on the laugh floor. Siberia won't save you, Wazowski. R. Anything over here? Nope. Anything around here? Nope. All right. Got one more pile of cans. Sully, can we throw my old paperwork through the door to Siberia? And I'm assuming that's MW is Mike Wazowski. Alright, where's our last can? There it is. Alright, let's go back to Sully. Hey Chazel, the place looks great. Nice work. It was surprisingly easy. Glad to hear it wasn't too much trouble. Next up, would you mind fixing a coffee for me and Mike? Normally I'd grab it myself, but we're almost done with the plan to get this place up and running. Now we're talking real intern stuff. We need that coffee to keep us going. Haha, ha, you're telling me. I delivered my share of coffee around this place back in my day. Anyway, it's not a good idea to approach Mike until he's had his morning brew. <laughs> And I think the extra caffeine boost will help us finish the plan. Um, that's definitely me. I have to have my coffee first thing in the morning, especially when I'm sending my son off to school because I'm old now and I wake up groggy all the time. So I need my bean juice every morning. So I feel you, Mike. We'll get you your coffee. So relatable, what do you need? I like my coffee extra strong. It takes about five times the amount of a regular coffee to get it as bitter as I, as I like it. Ugh, Sully, no. Mike takes his with a little non-dairy screamer and as much sugar as you can add. He calls it the Wazowski Special. And hey, I think a delivery of supplies just arrived. Everything you need is over at the coffee station and reception. When you've made them, would you mind bringing the coffees to Mike? He needs his more urgently than I do. Thanks, Chazels. All right, let's go make some bean juice. Okay, so 
use the coffee station to cook the Wazowski special. All right, so Celia, coffee times one, sugar times two, non-dairy screamer times two, George Oozlong tea. Mike is coffee times one, sugar times three, non-dairy screamer. All right, so one coffee, three sugars, and one creamer. So one coffee. Creamer, and then it was three sugars. One, two, three. All right, let's see. So, coffee, creamer, three sugars. And the Wazowski special. That's a five-star recipe. I wonder if it gives us a more um, more stamina than regular coffees or mocha. All right, so let's give this to Mike. Looking good today. Oh, maybe we have to prepare them all at one time. All right, so let's see what Soli's coffee special is. It's just five cof regular coffee beans. That's a lot of caffeine. I would be like running up and down the street with that much caffeine. All right, let's make the coffee. Why isn't it showing up? Did I not get it? All right, so we have five now. Two, three, four. Sully's coffee and that's a five star recipe as well so I'm thinking that this is the kind of like the mocha but just a lot stronger all right there you go Mike Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. Cough. Many mollusk monsters plotted pondering the paper. Are you okay? Yeah, just doing my vocal warm ups. Gotta get them in before I head through today's first kid door as Monsters in Monsters Inc.'s top jokester. Oh, you brought my coffee. Sully was right. You are a great intern. Okay, warm ups are done, and I've had a delicious Wazowski special. Now the day can really begin. Prepare to observe the best jokester in the biz. What does a jokester do exactly? Jokesters, my friend, are the backbone of Monsters Inc. We make kids laugh, which creates laugh energy, which powers everything. See, there was a time when everything was screen powered, and this place was ru ruled by scarers, but no more. Now it's my time to shine all the time. You know, this is basic energy knowledge. Don't you watch the news? Oh right, I knew that monstery stuff, I just forgot. Don't sweat it, consider your refresher complete. Chazlos, are you ready to see the greatest jokester of all time go to work? Excited to see you work, Mr. Wazowski. Hey, you called me Mr. I knew I liked you. Well, since it's the first day of the internship, you are in for a real treat. Mike Wazowski is about to perform. You know how Soli said we were coming up with the plan? Well, the plan is me working my green behind off to keep this place going. Time to make him laugh. Oh no, what happened? Looks like we're gonna have to fix the, the door. Okay, stay calm, it's only a small emergency. The door powered down and Mike's stuck in the human world. It's time to freak out now. Yes, I mean, no, no, we just have to figure this out. Since this is an emergency, we need the emergency manual. 
Miffed usually keeps a copy of the emergency manual somewhere on each laugh floor. I need you to find it. What's a Miffed? Oh, Miffed is a Monsters Incorporated facilities team. They make sure everything here is in top condition. It breaks, they fix it, but they're not here, so we need their manual to help us. Why do you think Mike's in danger? The longer Mike's behind the door, the higher the chance he'll be discovered, which could mean humans finding out about the monster world, which could then lead to a catastrophe. He'll be the next Sasquatch or Nessie or Abominable Snowman. Oh boy, I have got to stop running worst case scenarios and focus on getting him out of there. That is so me solely, I feel you. I have really bad anxiety, so I overthink all the time. And every, I make a mountain out of a molehole. That's exactly what I do. So I feel for him right now. I'll find that manual right away. Great, I'm gonna check out the electrical panel, see if I can get it working. Remember, you're looking for the emergency manual. All right, find the emergency manual. So, there it is. Bring the emergency manual to Soli. The emergency manual. Excellent. Let's see here. It says that red lights mean a couple of fuses have blown and need to be replaced. All we have to do is replace the fuses and check the power lines. We'll save you, Mike. That's right. Help is on the way. I'll keep reading in case there's anything else we need to know. Could you search the laugh floor for some new fuses and place them in the electrical panel there? When the power is on again, check the power lines to make sure it's all flowing properly. That should fix the door and get Mike home. I'm really glad you're here, Chazzles. I definitely couldn't change these dainty parts with these huge paws. All right, so find and replace the fuses and correct the power flow to rescue Mike. So we have to find three electrical panels and 10 power lines. What if all that paperwork accidentally fell through a door shredder? Mike Wazowski. So it looks like Mike doesn't want to do any of his um, paperwork, which I feel like <laughs> that's most of us working at like an intern job or filing job. All right, let's 
let's see if there's anything out here got me out you saved me are you okay me I'm great but jeez I'm am I happy to be back when I couldn't open the door to the monster world I knew Soli and you were hard at work work trying to get me out I said to myself Mike stay calm then I used the opportunity to try out some new stand-up material normally I don't have time to do more than a tight five I'm telling you, that kid was laughing so hard their parents woke up. You got me out just in time. Great to have you back, Mr. Wazowski. Hey, after all you've done for me, call me Mike. You know what? I'm sweating up a monsoon here. I need some time to center myself before I get back to work. Go check in with Soli while I get back in the zone. Phew! Hey Chazzles, thanks for all your help rescuing Mike. Things got a little hairy there. I'm sure it sure took it out of me. After everything required to get the factory switched over to laugh power, and now this, I could use a vacation. You know, not all monsters could handle themselves under pressure like that. Uh I need to tell you something. I'm a human in disguise. Sorry, what? I didn't want to trick you. It was the only way onto the laugh floor. Huh. You must be a pretty special human to trick our security gate. So, uh, why are you here? To invite you to visit Dreamlight Valley. Dreamlight Valley? Never heard of it. It's where I came from. Actually, it would be a great vacation spot for you. Hmm. There's a lot to explore. Sounds like a great way to stay active. Hmm. Hearing Dreamlight Valley does give me a familiar warm feeling. Tell you what, Chazzles. I'm pretty sold on this idea. I really need a break, but I can't go without Mike. If you can convince him to join me, we'll come visit the valley. Should be an easy pitch. You did rescue him, after all. Alright, I'll talk to Mike. Alright. So we got to talk to Mike and he's over here working. Look how cute he looks. Oh my god, so adorable. Sorry guys, I got to take a picture of him behind there. <laughs> That's the perfect picture. Don't say a word. I heard everything you said to Soli. You're a human. I, uh, I gotta admit, I freaked out a little at first. But now that I've had some time to think about it, you're a human with an opportunity for a vacation to someplace called Dreamlight Valley. 
and boy do I need a vacation. There's just one problem, I can't leave yet. You know I already set the all time laugh record. Yeah, so what's the problem? If I take a vacation, some other monster could break my record while I'm on the beach, pretending to read a book but really asleep. I can't let that happen. I've got to set a jokester record nobody can ever beat. You understand, right? Let's set a record. That's the spirit. As senior co-president of Monsters Incorporated and chief executive vice deputy administrative director of comedy resources management i hereby officially promote you from intern to jokester assistant first order of business we need doors which means we need key cards key cards okay write this down key cards tell the system which doors to the human world to bring to us once you find a couple of those we're in business Currently, all the key guards are at a reception, so start there. Just one problem. We don't have a receptionist today, and that door is jammed up, so you might have to find something to jimmy it, it open. Jimmy the jam door. Okay. Hey, nice rhythm. Alright, so we gotta look for some stuff to open up this door. wonder if it's that thing that I've already found. So let's see if there's key cards. Let's see if there's anything to jam the door open. Laugh floor tool chest. Monster mug rack. I think I already have that actually. I think I got it in a furniture chest. Talk to Sully. Paperwork is a CEO problem. Mike Wazowski. It's rude to read other monster sticky notes. Roz. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Mike is funny. Alright, so we have one think that's all we need. It's over here. You do know in the time you wrote all these you could have fi filed your paperwork R. Alright, just make sure there's nothing else over here. And let's head back to Soli. Hey, you found the key guards we need. That's great. Come on, let's get those doors. All right, perfect. We got doors. Let me have a look at the files that came with those cards. You know, the files with information on how, how to make the kid behind each one of these doors laugh themselves silly. There were no files with these cards. No files? How am I supposed to work without intel? No files, no laugh, no breaking records. Soli's vacation will be ruined. Slow down, Mike. I am your jokester assistant, and we will figure out a way to do this. Hmm. Why don't I make new files? New files? New files? That's preposterous. 
That's absurd. Make new files? How? I'll sneak into the kids' rooms while they're still empty and see if I can find clues about what would make each one laugh. Really? That's genius! I knew you'd be a great joker's assi jokester assistant. Don't worry, Mike. I'm on the case. I'll search for clues in each of the rooms. Perfect. Let's head to the door F2 first. Alright, so we're going to door F2. Is this F2? Alright, so it's really cool that they incorporated the kids' rooms, and I'm pretty sure all of them are going to be decorated. Um, this is the very first one, and we're looking for items that make kids laugh, so... A child's drawing of a ringmaster's hat in a wand. So I wonder if that was the only thing that we're supposed to see. A child's drawing of a circus clown. A child's drawing of a circus elephant. So it looks like it's going to be a circus. Mike, I found these drawings. This kid really likes the circus. A circus fan, huh? Sounds like they'd enjoy the big top banana pill slip and split. It's an over the top routine where I pretend to slip on a banana pill and boom, land in a split. Very technical. Okay, now check door F3 for clues. So we're in the second kid's room. This one looks space themed, so. Take photos of clues. Oh, okay, so we have to take photos. This one's going to be a little bit harder. If you could hear my cat, maybe it's the book. All right, so that was it. So just a tip, if you're looking for the last one, it's going to be this book in the corner. So make sure you're in position to capture it on the ground. And that's what the last one's going to be. It took me a while, but I got it. Let's have a look at these photos. Space. This kid is into space. I got it. I'll make this one laugh with some knock-knock jokes. Out of this world knock-knock jokes. Can I hear one? Sure. Knock-knock. Who's there? Champ. Shampoo. Shampoo. What do I need that for? I'm a hairless wander. <laughs> His dad jokes. Haha, <laughs> good one. Thanks, pal. Okay, let's get back to it. Last room, Chazzles. You're doing great. I really want to finish strong, so I need a guaranteed laugh. Why don't you bring me a clue from the room? Don't worry, I'll put it back. Alright, so this is our last room. It says, search the room for a physical clue to bring Mike. Well, this kid's room is dirty, man.
clean up all this stuff first. Got the whoopee cushion. Yeah, this kid. Look at this kid's room. Could be worse, but it is a little dirty. Let's see what this says. This room is a mess. There's enough clothes on the floor here for a bulldozer or a shovel. Clean it up, please, Mom. XOXO. Yep, that's exactly what we, we were saying. This room is a little untidy. A whoopee cushion, huh? Oh, I know exactly how to make this kid laugh. A whoopee cushion means this kid must be a connoisseur of gassy jokes of all kinds. I'm gonna burp the biggest burp in the history of burps. That'll definitely help me smash my last record to smithereens. Great idea. Yep, it's gonna make my record unreachable. Okay, jokester assistant, this is a big one, the mother load. This burp needs bass, it needs power, it needs vibrato. I've got two tokens here. I need you to bring me one can of soda from each of the three vending machines around reception. They'll all add a little something extra to this burp. Two tokens, but there are three machines. Kid, if you want to be a jokester, you gotta use the tools you have at your disposal. Improvise. Get one soda from each machine. Improvise. Got it? That's probably the broken one that we had seen behind the desk. So, let's go get some gassy goodness for Mike. I wonder if we can take all of these. Okay, so we can't interact with this one. Oh, there we go. And then the last one was behind here. something to find to open up that one. Let's go back to the toolbox. So I had to look it up because I didn't know how to get the green soda machine to work. But you're going to have to use your pickaxe on it. So and there we go. Perfect. So yeah, so make sure you guys use your pickaxe on the green soda machine when you're doing this quest. So, red soda, blue soda, and green soda. This cola concoction is the key. Chazzles, we're about to make history, and I owe it all to you. Bottoms up, watch the master at work in the spectacular three-for-one performance. Here we go. Got some laughs in our laugh canister. And then one more. <laughs> so cute.
We did it. Look at that. We beat it by miles, by kilometers, by whales. Congratulations, Mike. Thanks, pal. Couldn't have done it without you. Well, I could have done most of it, but definitely not all. Yep, my burp tank never fails. It's time to head to Dream White Valley, right? Almost. There's one last thing I gotta take care of. In the meantime, maybe you could check on our hotel room. House, beachside, bungalow, we're not picky. Just be sure it's someplace nice. Sully works so hard, he deserves a head start on the R&R. &R. Alright, so the last thing we have to do is play Mike and Sully's houses in the valley. I don't even know where I'm going to place them. Maybe the Forgotten Lands? But let's see how big their house is first. And then we will end the video for today's questing with Mike and Sully. It's been pretty fun. Um, the quests for our two little cute monsters have been pretty entertaining. Um, I'm having a lot of fun so far. All right. So let's see how huge these things are and where I'm going to put them. I'm running out of room in my valley. So let's see what they look like, how big they are. Mike and Sully's apartment. So this definitely needs to go in our plaza area. So I might actually move this house for now. Until I can figure out where to put it. Alright, and then let's pay for it to get fixed up. Hey, the monsters are coming back. Are they? Curious lad, sure. But good friends to us all. Let's welcome Mike and Sully. Oh, I cannot wait for them to see all that we've built. There we go. Welcome, Sully. Girls witty running in the back. So cute. All right, so we got Sully. Now we need to get Mike. Phew, this place is pretty amazing. About as amazing as you and Mike breaking that record. And hold on, Chazzles, I've been here before, haven't I? I'm starting to remember. It looks the same, but you, you've grown up so much. Wow, I think I really missed you. So cute. Even if I didn't actually remember you or the valley. It's like there's this part of me that feels welcome. Sully, you big softy. Well, Mike always says I'm a sentimental furball. Speaking of, he stayed behind to take his new jokester of the month photo. Could you check on him? That guy has as hard a time with the whole work-life balance thing as I do. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go back for Mike and get him. So, let's go grab Mike really quickly.
Hey Mike, Sully said you were getting your picture taken for the jokester of the month wall. Well, I was trying to, but I can't find the tripod and my arms are too short to capture all of this magnificence. Don't worry, Mike, I'll take your picture. Hey, you jump in at two chasles, we're a team, you and me. All right, so we gotta take a selfie with Mike. Wow, this is a great photo. You really captured the essence of a monster record holder. Chazels, you're the best intern slash assistant slash travel director I've ever met. Hey, what are we sticking around here for? Let's go see this Dreamlight Valley I've heard so much about. Here he comes. Too cute. Alright, let's get his photo. <laughs> That's perfect. Her facial expression is just like, dude, you are so gassy. Alright. Alright guys, we got both of them in the valley, so I think this is going to be the end of the video, but let's see what Mike has to say. Wow, hey look at this. Ooh, like, look at that. This place is great. Huh, I remember that big blue valley sky and those birds and oh, ah, uh, a chew. And uh, that pollen. Are you okay, Mike? Oh, sure, sure, yeah, it's just allergies. How'd I deal with those before? I can't remember. Anyway, thanks for bringing us here, Chazel. Soli really needed a break. Achoo! Don't mind me, I'll see you around. Best jokester assistant ever. Yay! So, we have brought Mike and Soli to my valley. Um, it was so much fun so far. Um, I'm loving the new update, and there's much more Mike and Sully quests to come, but like I said, this is going to be the end of this video, and I just want to say if you made it to the end, thank you so much for being here with me on this Monday. I know Monday blues are always a drag, so I'm glad we got to have a little fun with Mike and Sully, and they made us laugh on this Monday and I just had a lot of fun. So thank you guys for being here with me. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing because there's going to be so much more questing with our two cute little monsters, Mike and Sully. I don't know why I say little monster when Sully is huge and he's just like a big teddy bear, but there is going to be more questing with them to come. So make sure you subscribe. But until the next one, guys, have a great Monday. Bye-bye.